answering life's harder questions in just three simple steps. This is Three Steps to Success. Hello there, and welcome back to an exciting and commercially sponsored episode of Three Steps to Success. I'm your host, John Paula. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how, in just three simple steps, how you can save the environment. Step number one, cut back on any of your harmful polluting habits. All right. But seriously, folks, anything that looks bad for the environment probably is. Any and all gaseous substances, like hairspray, car exhaust, nitrogen, your farts, they're all bad for the atmosphere. And don't even get me started about microwaving plastic game consoles in your parents' backyard. Yeah, I know, right? I looked into it, and apparently it's not that eco-friendly after all. Who knew? All right, let's move on to our second step. Step number two, maintain and preserve the fragile circle of life by fertilizing your corner of the globe as often as possible. Now, I'm not some deranged hillbilly who craps and pisses outdoors. And of course, we don't want to frighten the young children watching. But luckily, there is a solution. Lots of people have terrific, environmentally friendly supplies of poop right in their very own homes. No, no, not the toilet. The cat's litter box. It's an excellent and seemingly endless supply of number two, right under your nose. Sometimes, unfortunately, it's right under your nose. Now, I went ahead and collected ample amounts of that smelly brown stuff, and I brought them with me here, outside in my own backyard, where there seems to be a suspicious lack of wild feral cats pooping in the area. To help maintain Elton John's precious circle of life, you must return the turds to the earth. Be free! Be free, my poop! Be free, my pooping! Be free! Yeah. For our third and final step, you'll want to do what a small group of school kids in Chicago did earlier this year with a concept they called Green Shields. Their aim was to redesign windshield technology currently employed on city school buses. By improving the aerodynamics of those giant yellow kid wagons, Green Shields will help cut down on gas emissions from the vehicles and help the environment. Not only that, the money saved on gas and fuel is being put back into local school systems for education funding. This concept was so awesome that the fine people at Pepsi Refresh Project awarded them a $25,000 grant for their unique idea. If you haven't already heard, Pepsi's Refresh Everything Project is an ongoing movement that's awarding thousands of dollars in grant money to great ideas and plans that help the community. And they're letting you vote on which ideas you think are best. Click the first link below to learn more about Green Shields or the Pepsi Refresh Project. Well, there you have it. Now you not only know how to save the environment, you're also well on your way to winning some awesome grant money from Pepsi. Thanks for watching. My name is Jonathan Paula, and I hope to see you next time on Three Steps to Success. Do you need help answering some of life's harder questions? Maybe you have an idea for an upcoming episode of Three Steps to Success. In that case, we'd love to hear from you. Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comments section below suggesting an idea for an upcoming video. And hopefully, we'll get around to filming it in the next few months.